Austin, it's a pleasure yeah. to meet you. My name's Liesl. I just nice need to, to preface you. this interview by saying I am not an entertainment reporter by any means. Okay. I've been to four Olympic Games, but I do not do Hollywood actors. So this is my wow. first time. Wow. So I hope you're... Well, thanks for being here. I hope you're easy yeah. today. I hope I'm easy too. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one thing that I found really interesting about the movie, you look at someone like Chris Hemsworth, who does Thor, has to do a whole heap of training. If you look at Michael Phelps, he did 10,000 calories a day for the mm, Olympics. Mm. I know that you did a whole heap of training for this movie. But I guess for me, I'm interested in the flexibility in the hips for you. Oh, yeah, Because yeah. Elvis was such a a mover in his hips. How much yeah. flexibility stuff did you have to do? Well, that's interesting you ask about the actual technical aspect of it. That was that was definitely a thing because I started noticing that my knees started to hurt early on before I even went to, came to Australia here. And I went to a physical therapist who worked with a lot of the X Games guys for skateboarding. And he said a lot of the knee stuff comes from uh, a lack of mobility in your hips. So I was moving in certain ways, but I needed to, I needed more mobility. So, um, so we started adding that into the program as far as um, every day, just getting mobility in, in hips. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, for sure. One of the things in the movie that I loved most about Elvis was the quality of authenticity. You could just see uh -huh. he stayed so authentic to himself, even if the decision was against what everyone else believed. Yeah. And I wonder what your quality would be. If you could take something from Elvis and bring it into your own life, what that quality would be? Mm. I, I, I definitely think that authenticity that he had and, and uh, um, yeah, he was, he was an incredibly generous person. You know, I really respect his generosity where he, he would, um, he would give things to people that he'd, he'd just met or somebody would say, I, I love your necklace, and he would just take it off and give it. He was just constantly giving. Um, and, you know, uh, and, and that can, I, that, uh, he gave so much that I think that's, that's one of the reasons why, he, you know, he, his life was probably cut short because he was constantly giving. Mm -hmm. But that generosity that he had, it was such a part of his spirit that I really respect that in him. How lucky to be a part of even just yeah. by proxy to, to even yeah. see that kind of generosity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. When you sat down with Baz Luhrmann before you started the film, what was his one goal or one dream for this movie for you to be able to live out the life of Elvis in the way that he envisioned it? I think the thing that he and I first bonded on was that... that that thing of getting past the icon or the caricature of Elvis, getting past the, the wallpaper of society that he is, and, and find the man. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, you know, that, that really was the core of it for us, was finding the truth of this, this incredible human. Mm. Well, I think you displayed that very well. well I think you, you depicted that really beautifully. You've, you've come from Carrie Diaries, you've come to one of the biggest biopics we've ever seen. Where to from here? Who could you play next? Maybe Heath Ledger? Oh, wow. I'm, I mean, I, 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 I respect Heath so much. Um, um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know as far as playing a specific person, but I, um, um, yeah, I just, I just want to be challenged. Yeah. You know, yeah, just just find a good challenge. Did you find this movie challenging for you? Absolutely, every day, yeah. There's more responsibility than I've ever felt in my life. And, um, and physically, uh, it was such a marathon. It was uh, so emotionally, everything. Um, but at the end of the day, like, there's that thing where it's incredibly exhausting, but it's so inspiring and so exhilarating every day. And I knew that I would only get to do this once in my life, uh, you know, this particular thing. Yeah. And what a joy to get to explore the life of Elvis every day for two years while I was doing this. How it was just the best, best time ever. I really, it, it's, I, it's something I, I will cherish for the rest of my life. Wow, that is yeah. so amazing. And I yeah. imagine too the challenge is there's a couple of people in his life that are so important to him. Yeah, you know, you've got yeah. Lisa Marie that's still there. You've got Priscilla that's that's still living and that they cared and loved Elvis yeah. so much throughout their life that you, I guess, have to honour that in a way that they're still living. Were you conscious of their idea of what 
the how their father and their husband was depicted? Yeah, that was that was a huge uh, thing for me the whole time, and and uh, um, the fact that I knew one day they were going to sit down in the theater and watch this film that. Uh, they knew, I mean, Priscilla knows him better than anyone. And uh, I was so incredibly nervous. And th th these were, this was part of the, the reason why I was woken up every day by my heart pounding at three in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep because I, I, I felt this responsibility. Um, and so the fact that they have responded in the way that they, they have is just, I'm over the moon. Well, Lisa Marie yeah. said it was exquisite, so I yeah, think that's so a very glowing reference. Uh, really, uh, it just makes my heart so happy. Well, Austin, it's been yeah, an absolute thank pleasure. You. Thank you so much for being my first Hollywood interview. This is I, the first one? My first one. Wow. So well, thank you so you're much. You're fantastic. It's, it's been so an absolute nice honour, and it was actually easier than I expected, so thank you so I'm much. I'm really glad. That's, that's really nice to hear. I hope you enjoy your stay in Australia. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know I will. I wish I could stay a lot longer. Yeah. I Maybe you can here. come back later. And yeah, have the yeah. bug rolls at rickshaws. I know. Have I, uh, do you already know that I'm getting some today? Yeah. Oh, are you getting some? I ordered some. Oh, I was going to yeah. say, we, like, we could have brought some. Could somebody drive and get some bug rolls? Yes, that's yeah, right. You've got to have some. Much. It'll keep you awake. Yeah, It's yeah, been an absolute pleasure. Thanks.